How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? The Joker Gamer Way to here, and I just now noticed something about the Indian Scout in the Crew Motorfest. When you fully tune it, it does not sound like the Indian motorcycle that you come to love. It doesn't even sound like it. this when it, this one's fully tuned, and it actually sounds like a motorcycle. It actually sounds like an actual motorcycle. But then with the Scout, it doesn't even sound like it. If anything, it sounds like the Indian FTR street bike. It sound, literally sounds like a street bike. And with the 86, and with the, what the f is, oh my God. Whatever. I want to fucking talk to this player here. You're fucking hit me for no reason, dude. What the hell's wrong with him, dude? Oh, you're gonna run away from the scene, huh? State would have words. It's interesting, they don't even have words in, in this in the crew motor fest. That's another thing that they messed up on. Skateboard in 33, watch where you're going. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by Skateboarder 33 ramming the shit out of my bike, or out of my Indian motorcycle, and he ran away from the scene, which is illegal, um, what happened was, so, even with the 86 Grand National, if you put a turbo in it, it does not sound like what it should. It doesn't even sound like it at all. It doesn't sound like a Buick, a Buick Grand National when it revs. It sounds terrible. Another thing about the Crew Motor Fest. When you try to get the freaking, um, when you, when you try, it doesn't matter if you freaking put all your points. Like, if you put a lot of points into your, um, your thing for XP, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't count. You get 22,000 you get 22 plus instead of an actual full, uh, uh, instead of what you actually put into it, like 40,000. Observe. Okay. Well, let me show you. So I put, so let me show you. So I put all of my points, literally, on my XP. I put lucky, or whatever. I put literally, XP is like through the roof, right here. I put 20 out of 20 points on the, on the XP. Should I get 20,000 XP? Yes. Every time I do a mission, I should get what I put on the freaking thing. But instead, when you rank up, you have to be, you have to do this 100 times. And that is not how it should be. And this is just to unlock Hoonigan clothing. If you, what, what they should have did is when you, is when they made the game, they should have put it in a pack. And basically, like a like a, in like part of the year one pass, if they since they have the Hoonigan cars, they should have put the Hoonigan clothes in there. 
that way you didn't have to constantly do a hundred like because there's no way in hell a person can be doing 100 of those just to unlock clothing there's some people that don't have the patience to do that like me i'm one of them and i am a big fan of hoonigan and their merchandise but in the crew motor fest they should put that into like i got the chest unlocked because all i had to do was do three playlists and I did that, and I never, ever got what I, I never got my, I never got my reward for Hoonigan out, for the Hoonigan outfits. I did the playlists. I did three playlists to unlock the main stage, and I did, and I never got my reward. So I'm kind of beginning to think the Crew Motor Fest is nothing but a scam. The only good thing about this game is the cars. Some cars don't sound like they should, and that needs to be updated, and that needs to be fixed. Especially, because if you're driving a Scout Indian motorcycle from 2015, it needs to sound like the actual motorcycle. Like, they need to redo the motorcycle and, like, the car, go through the cars and find which ones that don't sound right and they need to fix it. So, so far I'm giving this game probably a 3 out of 10. Fun wise, it's fun to cruise around in. Don't get me wrong, it's fun to drive. It's fun to collect everything and travel. But the Crew 2 is still better than the Crew Motorfest in my opinion. The only thing the Crew 2 didn't have that the Motorfest does have is more selections of cars. Oh, here's another thing. So I also got my uh, Spitfire in the Crew 2. And it was supposed to transfer over to the Crew Motorfest, but it never did. So some of my cars that I had in the Crew 2 did not transfer. And that's something else that you will probably experience. You will also experience when you play play this for, for the first time is that your liveries will not transfer over like they should. All your performance from the Crew 2, all the cars that you upgraded and worked your butt off on, nope, they're not even, they're not even, they don't transfer. So, which means you gotta redo all, you gotta upgrade all, re-upgrade all your cars. Which for me took probably over at least, what, probably two years. With all the cars that I had, and most of my cars didn't even, they didn't even transfer. Even my Spitfire, my 42 Spitfire, my helicopter that I got in the Crew 2, my Ghost Recon truck, that didn't even transfer at all. And I know I won it because I unlocked it. The cars that I unlocked from the bosses in the, in the Crew 2, they did not transfer. The planes I got didn't transfer. The helicopters I got didn't transfer. My rewards in the Crew 2 did not transfer. They need to change the way of getting the Hoonigan outfits to making it better so then people can actually enjoy it instead of being on a wild goose chase and being one rank 100 just to unlock just to unlock the good outfits so come on motorfest what are you doing man Of course, I'm not talking shit about the game. I'm just saying the things that should be done. And let's move on to another subject, Rockstar Games. They released a police uh, thing, a police, they released new police cars, but didn't release the outfits like they said they were gonna. And all the stuff that they said that they were going to release, like being able to be an actual cop, never happened yet. And has yet to happen. 
absolutely has yet to happen. So I would like to, I'm wondering where that is because I want to be a cop in the game and I actually have been waiting and I upgraded to the PS5 version just, just for that. So I would like to see the outfits in the next update. I would also like to see the cop cars priced appropriately instead of 5.2 million. The pricing on them needs to be changed tremendously. And easier ways to make money in the game. That needs to stop being patched all the time. I don't care if it's a glitch or not. Glitches are still fun. Especially for people who are struggling to make money in the game. Like the, mo the money bags, money drops, those can be brought back in the update because, and they should stay in the game because at least with that, it makes it funner because then you can give your, your friends whatever you want because then they, it's an easier way. They can still do the heists if they choose to. If they want to do the heists, they can still do the heists. But if they want to do money, if they want the money drop, let them. Let them have the money drops. Like, for real, bring that stuff back. Like, that's what made... I wasn't around when the money drop happened, but I, I'm kind of wishing I was now because that was probably the best freaking update ever. And I don't care if people were constantly using it to, to cheat in the game. You can't even afford anything in the game anyway because it's so overpriced. Like, you can't even afford a car. A nice car. For 2.1 million, you can't even afford that. Most of the stuff in the game, you can't even, you can't even afford. You gotta spend money. And I feel like that should not be a thing. Every year, they sh you should bring back the one million dollars so people can actually buy what they need if they want to. Either that or drop all of the prices down on everything and make it to where people can actually are... They agree that it's affordable to where you can actually have fun. Even there's okay back to the motor fest. Even with the custom exhaust on the on the Scout Indian motorcycle Scout, it should make it sound ten times as better. If anything, it makes it sound like a two cylinder engine, a two cylinder or, or like a five cylinder CC street bike, the one that goes instead of it sounding like this. That's how a motorcycle is supposed to sound. Even with the rumble that it has, the Indian Dark Horse does. That's how the Indian Scout should sound, just like that. And if the player adds custom exhaust onto their bike, it should sound even better. If I was running Rockstar Games, if I was the one, this is my opinion. And usually my opinions always matter because I know when I'm right. If, if I was the one running Rockstar Games, and if I released the police mod, or the police update, I would have brought out the outfits with the cop cars. And if there was a bug, I would have immediately got onto it and I would have fixed it. So players can actually enjoy themselves and actually have fun. And I'm not complaining about any of the games. I'm just speaking about what should be done with them. Like, as, you know, ideas. So 
so far it's I'm not enjoying the new update with the police because it just it doesn't have the outfit. And the freaking and the freaking radar system doesn't even work. It's a fake radar. It doesn't the numbers don't move like they should. Not to mention, you can't even mess with the computer on the in the cop car. It doesn't. That doesn't even work either. It's just a blank screen. It's just a stock default screen. I mean, if you're gonna make a cop car, you're gonna have to make it to where the radars will work, and not to mention, the freaking computers are gonna work to where you can. You know, like Roger into dispatch about a license plate, and you. Okay. To where you can actually, like, contact it to see if they have any wants or warrants. And for God's sakes, one of the things that would be amazing right now to have to add into GTA 5 is a goddamn coroner. There is a coroner's office. But no coroner as a as a cell phone. As a cell phone thing. That's a great idea. A great update to the next one. A coroner update to where you can actually become well not become it, but you can actually have like a coroner to, so like if there's bodies on the road or on the or around, you can contact them and they'll come and pick up the body and then drag it out and then clean up the scene. So then it doesn't look so terrible. Because I mean, it's obviously the parent, the fire department and paramedics don't really do their job. They, they don't do CPR to try to save the person. If anything, they just let them die. And then they write it down in their notebook and, and then they say, Oh, we did everything we could by the books. And it's like, uh, not exactly. You did not do everything by the books. By the books, you were supposed to check to see if the person was even alive. Or you could save them. Or if they were unconscious or doing CPR to try to restart their heart so then they can get so then they can come back alive and if they're wounded take them to the medical center look at that I just came up with so many ideas for you guys Jesus maybe I should get a job at Rockstar for real like seriously for real maybe I should get a job at Rockstar Games I mean, I seem to know what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> coming up with amazing ideas to make the game so much better. It's like... I was kind of disappointed the first time I played GTA V. I was really kind of disappointed that they didn't have a corner. But it's like, they have a big corners office. And they don't have a corner department that you can call on, call on your phone. So, like, if there's a dead body, you know, the corner can come and pick it up. And then they would clean clean the scene, and then the and then they could leave. And it doesn't have to be a, a a Ford or nothing like that. What it can be is a is a bravado van, just just like a normal default van, like like a bravado default van. And it doesn't have to be decked out. It can be custom built. It can be just like an NPC bravado bravado minivan or like a van or whatever at least something that can carry the corpse so what they'll do is they'll basically so hear me out on this so what they'll do is so if you let's say you accidentally hit an NPC and and if the fire department doesn't do their job or the paramedics don't do their job and if this and if the person's dead then what can happen is that they can, um, is what they'll do is they'll, they'll run out to the body, they'll take some photos, three photos of the corpse, and then they'll diagnose it, and then, and then they'll basically pick up the body, and they'll put it in a, in a black body bag, and then what'll happen is that they'll put it in the back of the van, and then they'll clean up the scene. I mean, if it's an OCRP, which I know it is, or, or LSPDFR, I'm pretty sure they could bring it in there, into the game. 
It's an amazing, an amazing idea for me. Maybe some different fire trucks too, besides. And highway patrol. They should have state trooper cars too. Like actual, like the cops and NP the NPC officers. They should have like state trooper cars too, in, in case of highway patrol can't can't get involved. And if it's the state's job, then they can then they can call in state troopers that are armed with like shot twelve gauge shotguns and stuff. That'll that'll shoot your tires out and stuff. Like boom, there's another there's another idea. Man, I'm good. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. I really do.